Hallo, hallo, hallo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoi and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation, right? Teach Yourself Test Automation. Sorry, I got not a not of the tracks right by um by a cold right the whole family went down with a cold well and also um i have been struggling to get around some um technical issues i've been coming across right like some technical issues and the uh, last last um, last video you saw me upload it was around test runner right test runner uh, we are running the test case, right? A cucumber test case. And we've done our step definition file, we've done our future file, and we've done our test runner, which would run our test case, right? And, um, and hopefully be successful, right? It was successful, but for the reporting, right? So, sorry about the delay, um, as, as I've said, um, <laughs> a bit of illness, no excuse, it's a bit of illness, and a bit of technical issues right i have been struggling trying to um see if i could get rid of that issue right um the more you know i just i only have like an hour a day um at most two hours a day to actually learn and put up these videos right so apart from that i cannot do much more right because also i've got a family and i've got um nine to five but i do still investigate and uh, now and again uh, to to the subscribers out there that actually or, or to my yeah to my subscribers who actually watch and, and do comments now and again i do respond to your comments right sorry about that if i don't respond but things are but we are here to encourage each other right we are here to encourage each other to empower each other to inspire each other to do better to do better right and i have been knocked off track by sickness or whatever <laughs> and by technical issues right um, because i'm teaching myself right it's only me <laughs> so i have to actually troubleshoot all these things myself i have to call on a friend who does automation to actually help me out but i think i can only learn i can only i only know what i know or what i teach myself right and then i could bring outside help right and i did that and it shows me errors of my ways i'll be making the stupid mistakes that have been stopping me from uh, uploading so far right but having said that i have got rid of the reporting issue right so remember we did um this was all about bringing together a, a cucumber bdd right a cucumber bdd standalone framework right cucumber BDD, bdd standalone framework so your future file, your your um, test def test definition file, uh, your step definition file, not test definition, and your test runner class, right? Which will run your test case, right? So that's a standalone framework. So I just want to show you that it actually works now. The reporting actually works, and uh, we will build on the back of this, right? So we started again and full steam ahead till we come to the next issue, right? Sorry about this, right? But as we're looking uh, before, right? Um, I've done. Uh, uh, let me tell you how I got. How I got um, a, got wrong the issue, right? Remember last time we we uh, cloned we cloned a, a Mervin project, right? We cloned a Mervin project, and then we brought in the the, the um, cucumber dependencies onto the Mervin project. So that main project became also, also had some cucumber knowledge, and that's how we, we proceeded, right? Because it's a clone of a project that's on GitHub, right? That could have been the issue, right? That could have been the issue, and it wasn't um, reported or whatever, right? But I could have known to kind of look around and kind of get another project or clone another project and then use that project. So that's what I've done now. I have cloned another project that's actually. A, a, a uploaded onto GitHub by the Serenity. Um, I don't know his name is Fergus Ferguson Fer, Ferguson Smart, and I think he's the I don't know if he's a founder of Serenity or, or, or one of the moderators of Serenity. But this this project is actually a project that he uploaded onto GitHub, right? So it's a Serenity Cucumber Four project, right? So I 
I um, cloned this project, I brought it into my Eclipse and uh, I did exactly the same things that I have been showing on my videos, right? So I created um, I created a, a, a feature file, I mean, a, yeah, feature file first, right? So the, 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 um, the website we are trying to log into is called Orange HRM, right? Orange HRM, I wonder, I wonder if I could just quickly go into that. Uh, right, let's quickly see if I could. Um, let me move this. Yep, let's see if I can quickly go into Orange HRM so I could show you the site. Um, sorry. Yes, I've got so many bookmarks. It's unbelievable. So many bookmarks. So this is the site, Orange HRM, right? So you know this site, right? So we are just trying to enter password, enter username, and click login, and then verify the, the verify the the dashboard, right? So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, if we go back here, so if I move myself again, so our test is called log into um, HRM, so Orange HRM, and the scenario is called log in with valid credentials, right? The scenario is called log in with valid credentials. And then we've, we've talked through over this file before, so we don't really need to talk about the file again. But this is our, this is our, our test case, right? This is our test case. So we've got one scenario and one test case. And this is our test case, right? So giving user is on the home page. When user enters admin as a username, uh, and user enters one uh, admin one two three as password, uh, then user should be able to log in, right? So that is our our uh, feature file. So we created a, a step definition file which will hold our steps and eventually our code, which will execute our test case. Uh, and we mapped each of this to our feature file, right? So we have to map each step from our step definition file onto our feature file uh, test steps as well, right? So we have done that as well, right? So then we went ahead and created our our test, uh, our runner, uh, runner class, right? So this is our runner, uh, test runner class, right? And we explained this before. So this is only a J, J unit and Cucumber, right? So J unit and Cucumber. So this is just a Cucumber standalone framework. And if we just right click on, so we want to run this, right? So we have prepared our, our test case. I want to run our test case. So if we go we'll right click, run as J unit test, and hopefully this passes, right? Because I've checked it out and it passes, right? So, um, and then we'll just explain it a bit more. So hopefully everything should run green, right? That's what we want to see. So that's it, right? Now it's, it's run, it's run green. So again, um, I was expecting that we will have all our a, a test steps underneath here right but actually right now that's not getting reported it's just reported up to the um, test scenario stage right so if you go back to our feature file so this is our test scenario login with valid credential this is the test scenario there login with valid credentials and our feature file a feature um, yeah our feature the name of the feature is login to login to HRM Right, so that's the level you get report it get reports reports at, right? I think that's an amendment or some new um some new version because other ones I've seen you get you get the test steps, it goes right down to the test steps, right? So now if we go back to our step definition file, right, where, where our code is meant to be, right? I have put in some domain. So just print out so that if this prints out, as we said last time in the last video, if this prints out, then if we put a, if we put some code in here, then it would execute our code, right? For now, uh, uh, we will do this, right? The next video, we are going to put some code in here, and hopefully, uh, we, we see it executed, right? And we're going to put some um, get some um, a, a page object modeling, right? So we we'll create more classes and try to use page object model, use Serenity. Uh, use selenium uh, so we are we're bringing it all together right so on the user or user is on home page i have this so it prints out this for the um for the print print line it will print this for uh, user enters 
uh, username, it will print test, and for user enter password, it will print pass, and a user should be able to log in, it will print nice, and it's printed it down here, right? This test passed, nice. Right, so my name is Kevin Oversweet Tori. That's what I wanted to show you. And in the next video, we're going to be bringing it all together. As I say, we're going to be doing Serenity, uh, Cucumber, um, J Unit, Selenium. Right, so that's the framework, the hybrid framework, bringing into bringing in deep, um, Serenity, BDD, Cucumber, uh, Selenium, and J Unit. Right, and hopefully, as I said, the, the, the dream is to I'm not the dream, but the, the, the goal is to master that framework and get that framework on a continuous delivery pipeline right and also being able to run this in um, in builds right maven build so take it up to a maven build and then get that maven build onto a, a continuous delivery pipeline or yeah right so my name is kevin Oswito. i hopefully these uh, videos are, are giving some value to you if they are giving value to you consider subscribing right and follow follow our our journey and you can get onto the journey as well right so this is also, I must, I must say I am using uh, what I'm doing here as um, a project as well, a project in my personal uh, personal growth. So personal development growth or personal development. Um, I'm using a personal development strategy right now, which is a, a holistic, a holistic approach to personal growth, right? A holistic approach to personal growth. So at the morning, uh, I start with prayer and meditation. Um, I start with drinking warm water. So uh, and also doing some uh, doing some exercises um, and also uh, upskilling myself within my nine to five. So career career development. Uh, so all that that's a holistic approach, right? A holistic approach and feed myself with um, knowledge. Uh, you know, reading books, uh, watching uh, uh, useful useful um, videos, getting a, a, a test automation knowledge. Uh, you know find now more knowledge that uh, it would, would, would enhance my understanding of, of life and stuff like that and also you know in going on to long long walks that clears my clears my you know give me clarity of, of thought um, and then if i go to bed at night also give gratitude and pray and uh, 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 meditate again right and this is what i am doing right so if you want to i'll drop i'll drop the link below as well right so if you want to follow that in on, on medium medium.com so medium.com uh, you can follow that down below uh, and that's where i'm doing my holistic approach to personal development right so personal growth right so and i'm using this uh, uh, this channel as well as part of that right so this 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 side covers my my career growth and i also got uh, um, things that take care of my mental my mental state my physical state my emotional state you know a holistic growth, a holistic growth, right? So my name is Kevin Owasu Toy. Stay blessed, okay? And God bless you. Um, again, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, if this has touched you or impacted you in any way and you find it useful, please do, okay? Thank you to my loyal subscribers. You are you are the best. <laughs> you are the best, and uh, hopefully um, you're learning as we go along. And once we finish this, um, I know someone has. Um, some one of the of my subscribers has asked for IntelliJ, so I think I'm gonna start looking into IntelliJ as well instead of uh, um, Eclipse. But we will see. You know, the courses I'm learning from are mainly around Eclipse, so I have, might have to get new courses uh, uh, around IntelliJ. Or and after that, we're going into uh, APIs, right? APIs. So my name is Kevin Wasuitoy. I have rambled on too long, and this video has stayed too long. So stay blessed. Okay, thank you.